In this video, we're going to take a look at some products from Armor Tool. Um, you can see it came FedEx, and as always, the box was torn open. But you know, this whole thing started a couple months ago when I did that video about the um, the new Craig jig I got, and I showed the, all the problems I've been having with the Craig clamps. And I had a viewer that watched it and said they were having the same problems, and they told me I should check out the Armor Tool clamps and. So I had never heard of them before and I went to the website and I actually uh, fell in love with their bench tops and I waited to get my uh, discount coupon for signing up for the emails and I ordered some bench tops immediately and then I sent them off an email to see if there was any way that I could get a sample clamp to um, to try on my channel and uh, you know just compare it to the great clamps and um, I got an email back and basically they said uh, no problem and I see you do a lot of pocket hole screws would you like to try one of our jigs so you know I, I said okay that you know that sounds really good so I a couple a week later I get this package in the mail from Armor Tools and it contains a assortment of their clamps some of their really fantastic pliers and a auto jig and this is stuff I had never heard of before um, and it all, you know, really looks nice. So I'm just gonna, you know, open up these pliers now and just take a quick look at this auto jig. Um, I had been thinking about upgrading to that bigger bench mount Craig jig, but I just, you know, I didn't really know if it was worthwhile to do. And they sent this out, and I'm not gonna do a full video about using it now because I haven't read the instructions at this point or anything. I'm just gonna, you know, do a quick look at it with you and basically it's a um, you know it's a, a nice auto adjusting pocket hole jig that looks like it will be super simple to use and repeatable and um, they did include a couple of screws uh, before I do a video about it I did order just ordered a big assortment of screws off of Amazon so I'll you know, have plenty to do a project with but you can see all their screws actually are color coded and the jig uh, uses that to select the screw size and they're all good for indoor or outdoor use which is pretty cool because um, you know with the Craig you have to buy those special blue screws that are really expensive for outdoor the screws look you know all look to be high quality there's a, a dust port on it um, it has their auto clamp technology built into it and you can see as you move the thickness of the wood in and out, it actually moves the jig up and down to set the size and also adjusts the color on the drill, which I think is pretty cool. So you, you basically put your wood in, lock it down, it's got that auto clamp on it, and there's a bit underneath, a square drive bit. But you can see that that little adjuster on the side there actually hooks onto the... Um, collar for the drill and sets it right where it needs to be for the stock size now there was a little piece of uh, tape over that set screw I've got to peel off there and that's really a good idea to keep it from falling out and shipping you know a lot of times you'll find stuff like that in the bottom of the box but they, they thought of that too and you just tighten that up with the included allen wrench and you're all ready to drill pocket hole screws and at the same time the jig selects a size screw that you need based on the color of the screw so you can see um you know any size that you need it's all fully auto adjusting and um i just i can't wait to really try this out now i am going to make a uh, a base for it that locks into the dog holes on my bench with some risers and stuff like that in the future also but they're the piece of inch and a half wood and just thought I'd show you well I didn't really pull it back far enough you just have to pull that handle back and then push the clamp down and you're all ready to go um everything's set the drill depth is set the screw has been selected for you and you know I it's just uh you know it's pretty amazing how they got it all into one package like this funny how I've found some of the, the best products that I have uh, just from comments from subscribers and uh, there you can see there's that Rockler hose that I bought for the sander and stuff and it fits perfectly on this so you know that's another thing I've been trying to do in my shop is to get ahead of the dust collection so that's gonna be you know a good addition and also you can adjust the spacing between the, the pair of 
of uh, pocket holes here by flipping that so you have two choices. And it does, uh, like I said, I'm going to build a, a mount for it with some spacers. They're inch and a half thick it takes to get everything centered for big frame pieces and stuff like that. But really, it's, um, you know, it looks to be a well thought out jig that a uh, really good, simple way to get started in pocket holes. And there's a little adjustment screw on there that you can actually uh, adjust the clamp pressure with that auto clamp there. So, you know, you can make sure that you're, um, nothing's moving or anything by just changing that a little bit. Now in the package are also some of the um, handheld auto adjust pliers that are really pretty cool. They're basically like vice grips on steroids. Um, they do have a release lever on these. And uh, the one thing you have to do is sometimes it takes two hands to get them closed enough to grab it with one hand. Because you can see the uh, width at which those uh, pliers do open every time. It does. It's, it's auto adjust on the closing but still. Now they're little, this pair here is actually a little big, but it can grab onto some pretty good sized stuff. And um, I here I'm just kind of playing with them with a piece of wood. But uh, over the I may I videoed this about a week ago, so I'd have time to check these out and work with them before I posted it, just because I wanted to make sure that you know I I guess I don't trust them like the Craig uh, clamps I ran into problems with, but. Um, I've been playing with all these uh, clamps, pliers, and everything, and not one problem yet. So, you know, I have to say that they uh, are very consistent and work good. So these pliers come, uh, actually I'll show you in a second, but these pliers all come with a lifetime warranty on them also, where the uh, auto jig and the other pliers are a five-year warranty. So these have a, um, a similar setup to the auto jig. Uh, pocket hole jig with the little thumb screw that you turn there to adjust the clamping force and you can go from a very light force on them to a um, you know a point where you can almost can't close it if you want them that tight you know it all depends on what you're doing with them but um, that's a larger pair and then there's this real nice little needle nose pair that um, I really I really enjoy and they uh, same thing no matter what thickness part or what size nut you grab onto with them they uh, auto adjust and based on that adjustment there it's very consistent to you know, how much force they put on the part and again you can see how wide the handle opens so you can get at the screw there to adjust them so you know it does take two two hands to first to get them close to a point where you can use them with one hand sometimes but, um, you know, basically same thing with these there. They, they worked every time is, you know, the big thing that I can say about them. And uh, they're, these are really handy for uh, getting in there and grabbing like a nut that you can't see, that you you, you can't really um, get your hand up in there with a wrench or anything. And, you know, I, I think they're going to be a great addition to the shop. So, um and like I said, I've been playing with these for a week now and not one problem with them. And these, this little set here is one of my favorites too. Uh, I just used it to pull out a whole bunch of little uh, little nails that were kind of sticking out of a piece. And it was so easy to just uh, lock onto them, pull them out. And, uh, you know, very consistent in how they clamp. So this is, you know, one of their industrial lines. And they also have a... Uh, bunch of welding clamps and stuff which I may uh, wind up buying some for my shop in the future too because uh, if they work this good uh, you know they'll be a joy to have so that's you know pretty much all the different pliers there and uh, they they do have a big uh, a big soft handle on them you can see and there's like I don't know if it's a powder coat on the handle or what but it's a you know it's a nice finish on there and they do have a release lever on these so when you get them clamped really tight you just squeeze on that and they pop open and they all use that same technology with a spring in the handle like that now i did play with them for quite a while while i was making this video on video trying to see if i could get them to malfunction or anything but um no problems at all with them so i think they're gonna you know really work good over time
and uh, like I like I said before, these pliers all come with a uh, a lifetime warranty on them, so that's a good thing. Now, one of the main reasons I started this all was I got these a couple of these Craig clamps, and basically they are unbelievably inconsistent. You can see sometimes you can close them, sometimes you can't, and that's with the screw all the way at the the lowest setting for force. But they just lock up, nothing moves. I've tried lubricating them. I've tried, you know, working with them and setting the screw adjustment at different places. And, you know, one time you might get lucky and they'll, they'll clamp at the right pressure. And the uh, next 45 times they won't, you'll just be fighting them and um, trying to work them with two hands. And every once in a while that little screw there for the adjustment actually locks up too, so... But um, you can see every once in a while they'll, uh, you know, they'll work right, but 99% of the time they just don't clamp right. I had to use pliers to loosen it up in there. That's at the lightest setting that you can go, and you can see I can't. One time I can't clamp them, and then the next time I, you know, I, I can clamp them, and they don't have any pressure. And so this is what started this all, and, um, you know, that's why I was looking for a replacement for these, because it's just too frustrating to try to use something like this. And, I mean, they're not cheap either, so I um, thought I'd, uh, you know, look at these armor clamps, because I had a, like I said, I had a viewer recommend them, and this is the assortment that they uh, sent me in the mail. I, I actually uh, asked if I could get, like, one to try, and uh, I got a pair of each of the type of clamps. Now, these are the 6-inch face frame clamps here and you can see they have that same little screw adjustment on there and no matter what the thickness is they uh, are really nice and consistent to what you have them set at uh, it takes a while to, to figure out the best setting and stuff and uh, it's got a little spring on there to, to hold it in place and again I've uh, I've been playing with these and trying to actually this video I was a lot longer I was trying to get them to fail and I just couldn't so um, that the adjustment takes a little while getting used to because it doesn't show you which way to adjust them for more force or less force but you know after a couple times adjusting them you do it gets easier so this one here is the um, the one with the face frame that has a large flat surface for uh, holding down the um, holding aligning the face frame parts when you're putting the screws in and also for holding down the jig when you're trying to drill now there you can see there's two of them and uh, they're both they both work the same uh, same consistency and stuff so pretty amazing to me that uh, you know this technology works so good so I'll get to you know I'll get to see how they stand up over time in my shop now too so you know this will be a good thing but the uh, the only thing that I did notice on these face frame the if you look at them like that the two rounds don't perfectly center when they close they're off to the side a little bit but I noticed that that does not um, cause any problems with the clamping or anything so you know it's just just that set there that has the, um, the offset but they still work good then these are just a general purpose one to have uh, they've got nice plastic feet on them and you can actually take those feet off if you want I think there's some kind of a hard rubber plastic combination and the same thing, they uh, have the fully adjustable amount of force, and you can you know you can adjust it down real low, or you can adjust it high depending on what you're using them for, so you don't damage things, or so you've got good clamping pressure. The same, they're they're all pretty much the same technology. It looks like they use the same hardware and the handle on all the different clamp lines. Now the handles on these are a little bit smaller than the um, the Craig cushions and stuff, but I find that these fit my my hands better. And you can see there that when you get them wide open like that, it does take two hands to to get them uh, to a point where you can grab it with one hand. So, you know, they're they're not a totally one-handed clamp, but I tell you what, they do uh, they do really uh, work nice and uh, consistent no matter what you clamp with them. So, and, you know, basically every pair was identical in the way they work, so no problems with any of them. 
I did have one of the smaller ones stick a little bit at one point and a little different adjustment on it that I'll show you in a, in a little while but you know basically uh, same consistency and uh, it looks like the reliability is really good and then then these are the pretty much the same clamps but just in a shorter version either three inch deep ones and that was a multi-purpose and this is the face clamp and see the three inch face clamps really align pretty much perfect when you close them and you know same thing with the uh, the actual repeatability and stuff on all of them now the original thing that started was you know using them for these uh, Craig uh, pocket hole jigs these little portable ones and you can see that they do fit right in the the clamping collar now this this uh, that collar for holding the clamp has a problem on this jig, which I've shown in the video. It just doesn't fit in right. But you can see the, you know, this, this is very easy to use that clamp, you know, basically one-handed now with uh, the jig in it. And you can do any thickness that you want. You get about the same force. But there it is. There's a problem where that, uh, that little rubber thing just doesn't fit in when you have uh, two of these together because of the protruding tab on the other one so you have to put it up over the area where the chips come out that causes problems but that's with the jig itself uh, you know it's got nothing to do with the clamping and here you can see you can uh, pretty much clamp any size uh, you know really equal force and everything else using these pliers and they do do fit right in the hardware provided so you know that'll be a good thing I don't need any different adapters or anything on them And the same thing, this is that R3 jig that I've got. They fit in there perfectly, snap in there, and you can see they, they make this jig a joy to use too. No more fiddling around or anything and, you know, worried about having to try to clamp it a hundred times. This, this works every time, so. And it doesn't matter the thickness of the stock either. So I'm thinking that this uh, three inch size clamp is going to be the, the most used one and you know out of all of them you can see how well that works with all those jigs and then the same thing with the six inch it has the same ends on it stuff but um, you know unless you've got to reach into in from a far side or something like that you really don't need a clamp this long but it you know it will it, it works same thing you can see just uh, perfectly clamps every time so that, you know, that right there solves a couple of problems for me, too. Now, there's that uh, lifetime warranty on these automatic pliers, and the all the rest of it has a five-year warranty, from what I understand. Now, I did have one clamp here. I had to take this spring out of to get it to adjust down to the lightest force. Um, I couldn't get that screw to go in far enough to, to get it down really light. But I'll probably never use that force. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, one clamp was a little bit different on the adjustment than the rest of them. And I did put the spring back in. And I also had uh, that one clamp there. For some reason, it, uh, it, it wasn't as smooth as the rest of them when I first used it and I did take and put a little bit of WD-40 in the handle on that and you know ever since I haven't it's reacted as the same as the other ones hasn't been a problem so I guess if you you know you do run into a persnickety one you might want to just uh, try to drop a WD-40 first to see if it solves your problem but pretty much uh, you know I I can't find anything wrong with them right now no matter how hard I try so we'll see over time you know how they stand up and stuff and there's what I sprayed in that one that was you know a little bit sticky but it it worked good after that I'd really like to thank Armor Tool for you know sending these out and giving me a chance to try them out in my shop and uh, you know find out how good they really are and uh, so far you know they really do they do look like they're gonna be a great addition to the shop and you know, no problem operating them yet, which uh, was the biggest frustration with the the Craig tools. 
So I'll put a link to the Armor Tools uh, webpage and make sure that you sign up for their email list and they mail out a cute coupon to you that uh, you know gives you a discount on your first purchase, which you know is how I bought those tops so reasonably priced. And they do also have sales all to, all different times of the year. And I'll also put some links on Amazon to see if I can you know find some to some of these individual components. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.